My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how was your weekend? James, Zach, my weekend was good. Went to a wedding in Nashville. Wedding season is back on. I didn't know too many people, so I was kind of like the squirrely guy. Oh, I do baseball stuff, and they were either into that or not into it. Pretty good weekend. How was your weekend? Weekend was good. Weekend was good. Uh, Katie had a baby, my baby, uh, second baby, baby Claire. So now baby James is a big brother. So is he baby James anymore? I don't know. He's kind of having a life crisis. The whole house is going through a whole thing. Jake, can you tell me what happened in the sports this weekend? James in the sports. This was a big one over the weekend. Your Ryan Stanick of your Houston Astros has a game losing balk. And this is an absolutely brutal brutal one. Astros, Dodgers, there's some rooted stuff here. And the balk call, which has been debated around baseball a lot, this is as low level as it gets. There's a slight twitch in his knee. He steps off the mound and the home plate umpire a little too excited to reward him with home plate. Yes. Now, those of you may remember Ryan Stanek from Tampa Bay. He was one of the original pirate relief pitchers, not actual pirate. He looks like a pirate. He is furious. He goes nuts. And guess what? He's right. He's right. Look how ridiculous this is. And our David Cohn, toe in the slab, he has been all over this. We need to change the bulk rule. What are we doing? This is nothing. This is nothing. Your guy Dusty got involved, Jim. Dusty did get involved. Dusty said, I need some kind of explanation because Stanek was going ballistic. Don't you do a really good Dusty Baker impression? Little fucker. A little fucker. Yep, that's the one. Jimbo, what's this almost a breakdown that you've been telling me about all the time? Yes, Jake, this is a great almost a breakdown. And it comes from the world of prices, right? And we have a couple notes that we love here on Weekly Dumb because we have a contestant that was celebrating so hard he dislocated his shoulder. Yes, yes, yes. Letting it rip, letting it rip. The next time we are introduced to him, he is armed down, sad, sagging. Unbelievable that you could get hurt like this and the price is right. And we have kind of a big Drew Carey update. Old now. Yeah, there's going to be a day that it comes back to us and we get a lot older. I mean, actually, you've kind of, you've already gotten a lot older. I've gotten half older. The cut to Drew Carey is tough, man. He's He's gone beard. The beard's widened. I guess you don't watch The Price is Right anymore. You kind of caught it sometimes at a kid when, like, a, as a kid, when a relative had to watch you and you'd be like, oh, The Price is Right, huh? They do a really good thing, though. They call up this guy's wife while he's got the shoulder just limped. Limped shoulder, limped. She lets it rip, and she gets a 95 out of 100, which, like, the price is right, gods are real. Jake, I've got to disagree with you on bringing up the wife. I need him to spin that wheel. This is the price is right. You're up there. You won your game, which, by the way, he goes super fast. Don't know if he need to go that fast. He does. He wins it. He's got to spin that wheel for me. The whole thing is kind of up in the air for me, and Drew Carey is the biggest loser in all this because we all just realized Drew Carey... Really Really old now. Jakey, looks like the more sports we're going to the world of golf. We are going to the world of golf. And Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. No, not that Happy Gilmore. There's a kid who is committed to play golf at Ball State. He's ranked number 481 in the world. Stinks. First name is actually Landon, so last name Gilmore. But because he golfed a lot, they called him Happy. And this is just a classic case of like... I don't know. Your predeterminative name decided your life. What's the thing called, Jim? Nominative determinism. And yeah, this is a perfect case of it. And yeah, be good, kid. Make this the start of the story. Because, dude, if this guy is like any part of good, they'll invite him to like pro golf events. He'll get a bunch of sponsorship sponsorships. So just be like decent and get a little better. And you got a really good life coming, Happy Gilmore. And... There will be a picture of him with Adam Sandler probably in the next calendar year. So I'm looking forward to that. John Bone, what's this not sports story you've been telling me about? Flight crew lasso someone? Is this fun or sad or what? Yes, Jake, and this not sports is brought to you by the farmer's dog. Take care of your dog. Keep them healthy. When your dog dies, you'll be sad. Flight crew lasso restrains panicked man trying to open emergency door mid-flight due to pressure on his chest. 19-year-old Korean fella tries to open the emergency door, and this has been happening. This happened on another flight last week, which you can't do that. That's the big rule. But yeah, the staff basically used a lasso, full-blown lasso, 
tie him up, and they tied him down for the rest of the flight. On a flight, that's kind of my comfort level. I actually, this is kind of weird. When I'm on a plane, I tuck my arms into the belt. That's like my sleep position because it kind of locks in my arms. I don't know. Being kind of tied up for the flight, as long as you don't have to go to the bathroom, kind of where I want to be. Being tied up for the flight is where you think you want to be. Yeah, I kind of like being tied up. I was tied up as a kid when I went to sleep. Tied up as a kid when you went to sleep? <laughs> Hello! I was a lot as a kid, so when I had to go to sleep, they would tie me up and go to bed. And so, yeah, there's a level of comfort there that I realize probably isn't super normal, but that's me. Yeah, man, that is just you. And let's maybe stop telling people about that. But we can start telling people about... It's the employee of the week. It's the employee of the week. Greek. It's, it's the, the employee, employee of the sheep. This has Jimmy, Katie, and baby Claire, but I'm, I'm going to politely step down and give it to Katie and baby Claire. They kind of did the real legwork on this one. All right, best show ever. Congrats to Katie, Claire and myself. And thank you everyone for watching a pretty weird Weekly Dumb, huh? Thank you, Weekly Dumb. That was a Weekly Dumb! This week's episode of the Weekly Dumb is brought to you by the Farmer's Dog. We both have dogs, and whether you have an older dog, a younger dog, your dog's health is so important so you can spend more quality time with them. Get the farmer's dog. They get food specialized for your pup. Whatever kind of dog you have, thefarmersdog.com slash johnboy. Get 50% off your first box. 50% off. That's a real deal at thefarmersdog.com. There's a link in the description. Go check them out today and get your dog eaten. Mmm. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle, there should be a big one of those. Just do a bunch of different. Some of these. Nominative determinism. <laughs>